So today we're going to show you how to make a car audio adapter ring uh, for uh, speaker installation in a uh, car door. This is the factory speaker for uh, this particular car and this is the new JL Audio uh, mid-range speaker that we're going to be putting in its place. So as you can see the two speakers are different sizes. So what we're going to need to do is make an adapter ring that will go from this size speaker to this size speaker. So what we're going to start off by doing is taking this speaker and placing it on the piece of paper and we want to make sure that we've got it kind of square on the paper. We don't we don't want to turn it if we can help it. And what we're going to do is take our pen and trace around the outside perimeter of this speaker. We're also going to mark off where the holes are located. And then we're going to take this speaker off and you can see we have the outline there. And then we're going to take this speaker, we're going to do the same exact thing. And again, we want to make sure it's square on the, on the paper. And we're going to trace this outline. And we want to do the holes the mounting holes on the speaker as well. And there you have it. So now we have both speakers laid out on this piece of paper. And what we need to do next is we need to find the center point for each speaker. So we're going to take our straight edge and we're going to align it in the center of each of the holes, mounting hole openings. And we're going to draw a line. I want to do the same thing on this side. Now you don't have to be super perfect, it's, it's not really rocket science here, but we do want to try to find the rough center point and we're going to do the same thing on the bigger speaker opening using the center holes for both and we're going to go the other way. And there. So now, now we have both speakers with center points and we're all set now to do the next step which is we need to determine what the actual hole diameters are here. So I need to know this diameter and I need to know this size here. So what we're going to do is take our digital calipers and we're going to measure the hole. We're going to use this end of the calipers. It's, it's for measuring inside hole dimensions and you can see 1.97 is the size that I come up with. So we're going to make this 0.2 inches uh, for rounding purposes. Now this hole is more rectangular so we're going to grab the width which is 0 .0, uh, 0.209 and the length which is 0.328. So we're going to round it up. I'm going to draw a little rectangle here. Uh, 0.33 for the length and 0.2 for the width. So now I know that. The last dimension I need before we can go to the computer and really get this all digitized is I need to know what the hole diameter has to be for this speaker so that it can drop in here and not get hung up. So as you can see there's a flange here on the speaker and we obviously want the outside most dimension. So we're going to take our calipers, open them up, and we're going to bring them in across the outside flange and see what we got for dimension. Looks like 3.845. We're going to expand this till we get to 4 inches and I'm, I'm okay with having a little bit of play there because you can see the tabs uh, are pretty big. So by doing a four inch opening that's going to give me a little bit of freedom in there. Again, it's not, not rocket science. So the um, diameter here is four inches. So that's it. Now we have everything we need. 
to take this piece of paper over to our scanner. We're going to scan it in. We're going to bring it into Vetric Cut 2D and we're going to design uh, this template with the hole in it.